All right, sis, so I'm starting off with brows already done. I'm gonna show you guys what I used. So I did use the Makeup Revolution Brow Pencil. Depending on your brows, you could go in with a pencil, a pomade, a gel, a powder, whichever works for you. I also did go in with a gel, and that is optional, guys. You do not need a brow gel. I personally just love using a brow gel. So for brushes, I am gonna go through the brushes we need. So we are gonna need an all over face brush, a contour brush, a buffing brush, a flat top brush, a eyeshadow blending brush, and, and of course, an eyebrow brush. So first product is a primer. I definitely recommend having a primer in your kit, guys. Depending on your skin type, you can have an hydrating, um, a mattifying, or just an everyday primer. I recently tried the e.l.f. putty primer and I actually really love this guys, it's, it, it makes my makeup come out so smooth and it just literally blurs my pores so this is definitely a product I would recommend and it's also affordable of course. So next you are going to need a skin tone concealer and heavy on the skin tone you want it to match perfectly. This is going to be a concealer that conceals your dark under eyes or any hyperpigmentation you have on your skin. So I've been loving this Revlon Skin Awakening Concealer. It is my perfect match and it literally gets the job done. It conceals all of my dark spots. So we are going to be using the buffing brush to blend it out. And this is going to be a brush we're going to be using a few times, guys. So we are going to be recycling some of the brushes we use. And of course, we don't need a lot of brushes in our makeup kit, guys. So I'm going to blend this out. I do like to make Make sure that everywhere is blended and flawless. So next we are going to need a foundation, a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer depending on what you want to go for for the day. For today's look I am going in with my foundation and I'm just going to apply it to my skin and I'm going to use the buffing brush to buff it out. So like I said we are going to be reusing some of our brushes and you can either go in with a brush for this step or your sponge i personally like using the sponge for my concealers and it depends on the day to be honest sometimes when i want a full coverage look i will go in with a brush if i do want just a nice natural airbrush look i will go in with a sponge so it literally is up to you but for today's look i wanted a full coverage and that is what i got all right, so next you are going to need a highlighting concealer. So this is a concealer that is two to three shades lighter than your natural complexion. This is going to brighten and just bring back that natural highlight to your skin. I like to apply in the inner corners underneath my eyes, um, on my forehead, my nose, my chin, and my cupid's bow, and that is just going to just bring back the natural highlight to my skin. I do have a detailed highlight and contour tutorial on my channel if you want to check that out. But yeah, this part is self-explanatory. You guys see me do this a hundred times. All right, so like I said, a makeup sponge. I love using this for my concealer. You want to make sure that it is damp and this is going to just allow your concealer to blend out flawlessly. You cannot have you cannot not have a sponge in your kit guys I do highly recommend having a beauty sponge and you can get a beauty sponge just about anywhere some are better than others for sure but um, just having just a makeup sponge in your kit is highly recommended All right, next product is a setting powder. So depending on your skin tone, of course, you need a setting powder and this is going to set all of your highlighted areas. I like to go for anything that says banana or medium deep. Those tend to work for me the best. So if you are, you know, my skin complexion, I definitely recommend picking up a setting powder that is a medium deep shade. And this is going to be what you are using to set your makeup, your concealer.
all right so next is a contour or bronzing palette this one is the essence bronzing palette and I, re I highly recommend something that has a few options in the palette just because depending on the day if you want something a bit more lighter a bit more harsher or if you do want you can use some of the powders to use as your all-over powder so this is very versatile you do want something that you can kind of reuse or use in different ways so I did go in with my angled contour brush for this step and I do use it to contour my nose as well I'm going to show you guys what I do so I kind of use the angled um, sides to contour my nose all right so the next thing you are going to need is an all-over face powder so I love the the fit me Maybelline fit me pressed powders these ones are perfect for just an all-over powder guys and you don't even need to use it how I use it you can use it um, without putting on foundation it's just a really nice all-over powder um, everyday all-over powder and it's super affordable guys so definitely need an all-over powder in your makeup kit so next the blush it's definitely optional I personally like just adding a bit of color back into my skin so I've been loving the Maybelline blush this is in the shade berry and I am again taking that angled brush for this and just flushing it on the apples of my cheeks all right so next you are going to need an everyday eyeshadow palette this one here is the Catrice eyeshadow palette I haven't used it yet so it looks really fresh but you are going to need a blending brush so we're gonna reuse this in different ways which I am gonna show you guys in a bit but this is the elf blending brush so I'm gonna dip into the orange shade in that palette and I'm gonna firstly use it to blend into my crease and I'm just using circular motions to blend that out and then I'm gonna dip back into it and just pack it onto my lid so that is where you just kind of blend everything together and this is literally a one eyeshadow tutorial guys a little mini one eyeshadow tutorial you could definitely do a little bit more with that palette but I just wanted to do something pretty simple for you guys today So next you are going to need a liquid eyeliner this one is the elf liquid liner very affordable this is what I've been using for a while now so I'm just gonna create a natural winged liner I do have a tutorial on this on my channel if you guys want to check it out I'll leave it in the cards above but yeah I'm just doing a very natural winged liner this is definitely optional not an everyday thing that you need to do I definitely don't do liners every day guys but when I do want to do a full coverage look I will add a liner so next is a mascara and when it comes to your lashes you do not need to use lashes you can go in with mascara alone I personally like using lashes so I did apply my lashes off camera and now I'm just blending my natural lashes with the falsies and I do go in with the mascara on my bottom lashes as well So I am dipping back into the eyeshadow palette and I didn't show this brush but it's a very small detailer brush and what I use this for is my inner tear ducts and that's just going to kind of brighten up the look. Alright and then next you are definitely going to need a lip liner depending on what kind of um, lip products you use I personally like using glosses so I like to have a nice brown lip liner before I go in with a gloss and I usually use a nice nude lip gloss so I'll show you guys some options I have the Maybelline lifter glosses these ones are bomb and the Milani lip gloss so this is the one I'm gonna use for this tutorial I love this one just because it's a very nice pinky nude and it matches perfectly with the brown lip liner. 
All right, and last but not least is a setting spray. So I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray, and this is just going to make sure that everything is set and in place for your day, guys. This is gonna make sure everything lasts throughout the day. So yeah, that is about it for this tutorial, guys. Very simple, everyday makeup tutorial using some very holy grail products guys these are products that i've been using for years very affordable and beginner friendly so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this video let me know what you guys think in the comments leave your comments down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys